how to buy crypto directly within MetaMask. We can use the buy feature right here to buy crypto with various payment methods and then get that crypto sent directly to our MetaMask wallet address. So we're gonna go through that right now. We're gonna get MetaMask open and then click the three dots in the top right and then click expand view. Uh, that brings us through to this page, or you can just click buy right here if you have the MetaMask extension. If you have the application, it's the exact same sort of thing. You just need to go to the buy tab and you'll have all the same options. Before pressing buy, just make sure that you're on the wallet that you want the crypto sent to. So I'm on this wallet right here with this wallet address. That's the address that the crypto is gonna go to. If you have other wallet addresses, just change to the wallet address where you wanna send the crypto to. Click that, make sure it's there, and then click buy. It doesn't really matter too much which uh, network that you're on, because you can choose that later when you're buying. So we're gonna click buy, and it takes us through to the uh, MetaMask portfolio page. From here, we have options to buy with various methods. You can also sell crypto directly to those methods as well if you want. We're gonna concentrate on buy right now. The main thing here is just to make sure that you have the address of the wallet where you want the crypto sent. And also, the crypto that you're buying, make sure it's on the chain that you want it on. So what I mean by that is if we come down here to Ethereum, what this means is you know, I'm buying ETH, the token. So let's say I wanna buy ETH. You can see ETH is on many different chains. So if you want Ethereum on the Ethereum chain, that's this one here and choose that. If you want ETH on Arbitrum, a different chain, choose that one. So just make sure that you're buying the asset that you want and it's on the chain that you want. All of your addresses across all of these chains is gonna be the same, um, but it's gonna be sent to the network that you choose. If you're using MetaMask for the first time or you're a beginner just getting some crypto into your wallets, the main thing is, is that you definitely need to buy the layer one coin on the network that you're using. So if you are a beginner and you're just looking to get some crypto in here to maybe play a game or anything like that, you always need the layer one coin to pay for gas. Any transactions that you put through MetaMask and through the blockchain, you have to pay gas. So if you're using Ethereum and you don't have any coins, then you're gonna have to buy ETH first before buying any stable coins or other assets. You always need the layer one coin. If you have the layer one coin already, then you can go and buy a stable coin. You can use that stable coin to do anything you want, trade it for other coins or use it anywhere, but you always need the layer one coin. So if you're buying a different asset that you want to invest in, like you know Tether or you know Aave or Uniswap, you can see them all here. If you buy that coin and put it in your MetaMask, you won't be able to move it or send it or trade it or do anything else with it unless you have the layer one coin to pay for gas. So whichever chain that you're using, choose the gas coin. So you've got ETH here. You also have BNB coin on the BNB chain. You can see it's on BNB chain. And, you know, Polygon, uh, you should be able to see here, or P, you know, uh, Matic, right? So that's the layer one coin for the Polygon chain, as you can see right here. So whichever chain that you're using, just make sure you have the layer one coin to pay for gas before getting any other types of tokens in there. The payment methods are gonna change depending on where you live in the world. So you're gonna have to just search for, you know, your area and what is available. So we're gonna use uh, US as an example. So United States, and then you can choose the state that you're in. So we'll just choose Alabama here um, and ETH on ETH mainnet. Now come down here, debit or credit card, you can change right here. So you have uh, PayPal option in the States, debit or credit card. Uh, you have ACH transfer, wire and cash app for the state of Alabama. It might be different depending on the state that you're in. So what you can see here is that there are different uh, examples. So PayPal is instant and you have a high buy limit. Debit or credit card takes around five to 10 minutes. A wire can take one to three days. Uh, and so, you know, just make sure that you're using the transfer method that you want to use here and with the time. And they're all gonna have slightly different costs as well. So firstly, I'll just show you PayPal. So if we click on PayPal right here, you can see buy with PayPal. If you have a PayPal account set up, just buy with PayPal, it takes you through to your PayPal account. These are the fees for PayPal, anywhere from like one to 3% or so. You can see depending on what you purchase, these are the fees through PayPal. Fairly expensive. Everything with this method is fairly expensive when using PayPal. It's trustworthy and reliable, but it is expensive as a fee. So just make sure you're comfortable with that. Uh, now we'll also look at some other payment methods, debit or credit card here. So just click continue. We also have Stripe as a method, which is very new for MetaMask. Uh, Stripe is one of the biggest payment providers in the world. Now what you can see is that this is best price. So all of these methods, you know, just use the best price that you get at the time because the best price is you're paying, you know, $100, as you can see here, how much ETH are you getting for this? This is the best 
uh, exchange rate. So you want to go for this one. If we click Stripe right here, what we can also see is the fees are around about 2 to 3% for all of these credit card methods. That's just the way it is with credit cards. So again, you know, $96 of ETH. Um, you know, we're paying $96. You can see the fees are around $3 here. You have a network fee, transaction fee, right? So fees are fairly expensive for these payment methods, but that's the way it is. You can choose any of these payment methods to pay with card. And again, for wires, it's actually exactly the same. So if you can click this, you go through these third parties as well. Transact right here, so that's the best price. So really look around and see what is the best exchange rate. What is the cheapest rate that you can get for any of these uh, just choose that one and then use that payment method. Using MetaMask directly to buy crypto it is very convenient, but it is more expensive. You're paying around 1% to 3% on the way in. If you want to sell out to a card, 1% to 3% on the way out. What many people will do is use a you know real crypto exchange, uh, which usually have free deposits, and then on the way out, maybe a small charge as well. But the trading fees are 0.1%. As an example here, I use Bybit most of the time, 0.3% euros, right? 30 cents for a bank payment in, you can pay 0.1% trading fees and then get the crypto, withdraw it from the exchange into your MetaMask wallet. I'll leave video guides on exactly how to do that, how to trade on exchanges, how to withdraw that crypto to your MetaMask wallet down in the description. Um, Bybit and others give deposit bonuses depending on where you live in the world. So I'll leave links to those trading and deposit bonuses as well in the description. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.